Ulcerative colitis is a difficult-to-treat form of inflammatory bowel disease. Gut microbiome alterations are a possible risk factor for the disease. And success with using fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT, to restore the microbiome in treatment of C. diff infection has sparked interest in seeing if FMT could also be effective for treating ulcerative colitis. Trials to date have had variable results, possibly because they used aerobically prepared stool suspensions. Most colonic bacteria are obligate anaerobes and oxygen sensitive, and they may be diminished in number or eliminated when processed under aerobic conditions. In the current issue of JAMA, we report on a trial investigating whether FMT using anaerobically prepared stool is effective at inducing remission in active ulcerative colitis. The researchers enrolled 73 adults with mild to moderately active ulcerative colitis in a randomized double-blind clinical trial in three Australian tertiary referral centers with 12-month follow-up. 38 participants received anaerobically prepared pooled donor FMT, and 35 participants in the control group received their own stool prepared under aerobic conditions. The FMT was delivered via colonoscopy followed by two enemas over seven days, which is a lower intensity regimen than that used in previous studies demonstrating the efficacy of FMT for ulcerative colitis. The primary outcome of the study was corticosteroid-free remission defined by the Mayo score eight weeks after FMT. On to the results. Among 73 randomized patients, 67 completed the trial. 12 of the 38 participants assigned to pool donor FMT achieved remission at eight weeks, compared with three of the 35 participants assigned to autologous FMT, for a between-group difference favoring pool donor FMT of 23%. Among the 12 participants who achieved the primary endpoint at week eight following donor FMT, five maintained remission at 12 months. The authors conclude that in this preliminary study, one-week treatment with anaerobically prepared donor FMT compared with autologous FMT resulted in a higher likelihood of remission at eight weeks. But further research is needed to assess safety and longer-term maintenance of remission.